I'm an artist. To be specific, I'm a painter. Uh, to be even more specific, I work with dried paint. I, uh, I, I started uh, making art pretty much from day one, I guess. Uh, it's just, it's the one thing I did as a kid uh, that I did better and more often than anything else. Started off uh, going to junior college where I was uh, majoring in uh, illustration and design and then shifted gears and went into fine art painting and went to Kansas City Art Institute. So I early on, pretty much right when I started going to the Art Institute, joined forces with a couple other artists here in Kansas City who were already sort of running um, a, probably the first underground, bohemian, you know, avant-garde, whatever term you want to throw on it, that type of a gallery space. The idea behind it was they were both painters and uh, the idea was to get a space that was large enough that we could live in, that we could work in, and that we could then show our work in. We ran uh, this alternative space called the Left Bank. It exposed, it was an interdisciplinary situation, so lots of other artists, artists were coming down. Uh, we would work, uh, and then on the weekend we'd have a show, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday we'd strike, and then Monday would be back to studios and, and our home. Uh, but we would do dance and poetry and performance and painting and sculpture and uh, installations, uh, everything you can think of pretty much. Um, and uh, we got a little bit of press in Kansas City, got a little bit of national press, and so it was a really great opportunity as a young artist to uh, be an incredible uh, creative force. I'm a figurative artist. I paint abstract expressionistically. Um, I, I search for uh, moments of, you know, the poetic. I search for, uh, uh, I, I try to make my work, I try to take things that uh, are conventionally maybe not uh, considered beautiful. When I paint, I, I, my approach on the canvas is somewhat aggressive and lots of underpainting occurs and lots of paint gets put up on the canvas and then falls to the floor. Being a poor young artist, uh, I pulled that paint up off the plastic and it was sort of an aha moment because one side was really smooth and kind of glossy. That was the side that was that met the plastic and then this other side that dried in the air was just the random sort of uh, you know uh, surface that it took on by however much paint I let fall and puddle up. I at that point then just glued it right back up on the canvas, put a bunch of gesso up on the canvas, picked this big paint scab up of dried paint, put it on there, painted over it, it became this great texture and this gave my canvases this history. So I started making these full-blown mosaic type pieces of art and then I'd use these pieces as little design elements and decorative moments and uh, then I'd find little faces in them and, and, and I would create these images. I'm actually now working uh, three-dimensionalizing them and I'm doing making sculpture, making these wooden sculptures of these figures and then skinning them with these, with these big dried uh, pieces of, of, of paint. I was able to do all that and stay within the parameters of my discipline as a painter. My name is Mark Westervelt. I was born and raised in Kansas City, Missouri. 